Today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about five things you need to start your home recording studio. I used to wear a hand bone. That nigga is a tenor and he's singing like a baritone. What up y'all, appreciate y'all tuning back into the channel. I go by the name of Ryan P. And today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about five things you need to start your home recording studio. And I'm gonna recommend some things that I personally use and just some recommendations that's not on that five list that's gonna help you with your home studio. So the first thing you're gonna need for your studio is a microphone. I recommend condenser microphones and a great microphone to start out with is the AT2020 condenser microphone. Great microphone, inexpensive. It's about $100 brand new. You can probably find it cheaper if you buy it used. Next, you're gonna need an audio interface. I started out with this one right here, the Behringer. Great interface, inexpensive. It's like $100 brand new. And another interface that's good to use is the Scarlett 2i2. I recommend that one. And what these two interfaces have in common is they both 48 volt phantom power. And if you plan on recording other people, then I recommend these ones because they have two XLR microphone inputs. So it's good for recording uh, multiple people. I'm sitting down right now. I have another microphone that I use when I'm standing up. So it's good to have two XLR inputs for your interface. Currently, I'm using the Apollo Twin. That's more pricier, but uh, definitely I recommend the Apollo Twin as well. But if you want to just start out and not pay no bunch of money, then I recommend these two interfaces right here. Next, let's talk about computers, laptops, etc. Um, I'm not going to tell you to get a Mac. I'm not going to tell you to get a window, but I will tell you whatever you decide to get, make sure it has a great processor and make sure it has a nice amount of storage on there because you're going to need a processor for all your plugins and your music and all of that. You don't want your computer to crash. So make sure that it has a great processor and enough storage for your files, music, and etc. So now we're going to talk about headphones. I personally don't think you need mixing headphones if you're just recording recording vocals. If you're just going to record vocals and that's it, then you can use any kind of headphones. But if you plan on mixing and engineering your sessions, then I recommend getting a pair of studio headphones. Some inexpensive headphones you can get and that I use is the Tascam uh, THMX2s. Those are about $35. You can get those great for mixing vocals. So get you a pair of studio mixing headphones if you plan on engineering. If not, then whatever headphones will work fine. Last but not least, you are going to need a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. That's your Pro Tools, FL Studio, Ableton, GarageBand, Logic, whatever. All of those are a preference. I'm not gonna tell you which one is best. Long as you learn the three basics, you can use any of these DAWs, but learn recording, EQing, and compression, and you'll be able to use any of these DAWs. It's just a preference, all right? So now let's talk about some things that wasn't on that list that I think you can use for your home studio. So something that I would recommend getting that's not a necessity, but I think can help your studio is this right here this is a wireless keyboard and they got the mouse built into it and the reason why i recommend getting one of these if you're standing up and you're recording you don't want to run from your microphone back to your pc back to the microphone back to the pc you can stand up if you got a, a mic stand with a tray on it you can just set this on there you can control your whole session and you don't have to go back and forth. And you might be in the middle of something very creative and you got something on your mind and then you running back and forth, you lose it. So um, again, not a necessity, but some that you should think about getting. Next thing you might wanna look into getting is some studio monitors. Studio monitors are great when you're mixing vocals. They're better than using a Bluetooth speaker because they're more accurate, they're more true to sound. With Bluetooth speakers and other speakers like that, they don't really give you an accurate sound. So great studio monitors to start out with that I personally started out with is the KRK Rocket 5s. I have those currently and also I have the Kali LP6 those are both great studio monitors i definitely recommend those but get you a pair of studio monitors and mix out of those if you plan on mixing because again they're more accurate another thing that i recommend is a headphone amp and a headphone amp is good if you plan on recording other people you can have your volume and your headphones set to a certain level and the person recording can have their set to a certain level so you can have your preference of volume so i would recommend a headphone amp if you plan on recording other people 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was today's video. I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you found this video helpful at all, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Comment down below anything you want to see or you want me to talk about. Make sure you jump in that description box. Hit the link. I have FL Studio vocal presets for beginner users. You guys can download those for free. Also, my music, my videos, exclusive content is in that link as well. So make sure you guys show some support. And to the next time, we out, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck with your studio. Peace.